Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Creator Club series. So, before we get into this episode, drop a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, hit that big red button underneath the video, it massively helps me out. So, ladies and gentlemen, we start this episode in 5th and yes, I am back. Um, episodes will go back to one a week for now um, until I can, you know, get things balanced again. Um, I'll again be keeping an eye on the frame rate this episode hopefully it stays exactly the same and you know and hope hopefully it, uh, it, it you know it works it stays stable um but we'll keep an eye on that we will absolutely keep an eye on that so we start this episode in fifth um just to remind ourselves of where we are we are in the championship um season number three i'm pretty sure and yeah we we move forward from there so villa is definitely the team to beat this season i mean we've already done that but um, you know, we, in terms of the league table, they are the team to catch, they are the team to beat. Um, so yeah, we'll move this back into, you know, two played games, um, three sims, and one episode a week for now, and then we'll see where we go from there. So ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into our next game against Middlesbrough, and since we are technically based in Sunderland here, Talons FC, uh, this would be considered a Weatees derby? All right, guys, so we have our squad, the rotation team, up against Middlesbrough here today. Asam Belonga starts up front with uh, Akpom there for Middlesbrough, so that's a deadly little force up front. But we do have our, you know, new, I say new formation for the season. We started it at the back end of last season, um, but we go with the 4-4-2. And I'm hoping that the boys are on fire because I want to get back to winning ways. I want to get back to scoring goals. You know what I'm saying? If need be, we do have some menu on the bench to bring on, um, who is our absolute goal machine, our talisman in the squad. So let us jump into this Weatees derby. And again, as long as we play all right, because obviously I haven't played this for like a month. So as long as we play all right and I start to get the field back for it, then I think I'll be Gucci. Middlesbrough coming forward with a Sombolonga. He passes it back to wing. I guess you could say they're winging it. Sombolonga tackled by Gordon. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure we brought Gordon in this season as well. Um, this is McKenzie. Kone is running straight through. What a run by Aluka Kone. Keepers off his line. He stinked the keeper. What a finish by the boy. Aluka Kone 1 0, ladies and gentlemen. McKenzie. He gets the shot off. Mackenzie, my guy. Oh, he, he got that sniper rifle and just boom into the oof. Oh, oh, things you love to see, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, love that. Absolutely love that. Sessignon down the line for Armstrong. I mean, corner is there. Corner is there. <laughs> Corner is there. <laughs> but, like, I don't know what else to say. Like, Corner is, like, like, Corner is the only player up with player right now. And, it's I, I'm not complaining, but at the same time, like, we have four other people in the attack. And they're nowhere to be seen. Either way, it is 3-0, ladies and gentlemen, at half time. Um, it's going better than I expected. It is going very it is going very, very good. Like like I said, better than better than I even expected to be after a month off. But we move forwards and we could get five or six, depending on Middlesbrough's defence. Middlesbrough coming forward. Akpom into a Sombolonga. Kavalenko can't get a foot in. Akpom. He sold the def good defender in Rodwell. He'd originally sold him. If he'd got the shot off, then, you know, that would have probably just been it. But Rodwell on a mad run here. Oliver Rodwell. He's crossing it into the back stick where McKenzie waits for 4-0. If Akpom... Like, after Akpom dropped his shoulder, if he'd got the shot off, he would have been fine. It probably would have been 3-1. But Rodwell, with a very good interception, 
carried the ball the entire length of the pitch. He's found McKenzie at the back post. And Big Mac himself has put it away for 4-0. Like, Middlesbrough getting absolutely rinsed here, ladies and gentlemen. Corner. Back into Sterling. Speaking of Sterling, he might be leaving Manchester City at the end of the season. So, there is that. Chambers. Chambers. Boom! Tito! Five. <laughs> so yeah, Sterling might be leaving City at the end of the season. That's a thing. But Tito Fernandez makes a 5-0. We, we have the better Fernandez. Fuck Bruno. <laughs> Who needs Bruno when you've got Tito, bro? Honestly. But yeah, no, that's a thing. That's going to happen. 5-0. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you know how I said at half time when it could have been 5 or 6? It is indeed 5. Stats tell the story. We completely shot Middlesbrough out. And Alfonso Big Mac McKenzie is your man of the match. He got... I mean, Coney and McKenzie both got a 10. They both got two, two goals. But McKenzie did get an assist, which makes him your man of the match. I am happy with that, ladies and gentlemen. Tito Fernandez there, 8.8. Rodwell, 8.8. Rodwell, actually, believe it or not, had a really good game at centre-back. Like, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Didn't need to make any substitutions either. We were in complete control the entire game. Not much of a challenge by Middlesbrough. We move forward. Same game numero uno, and it is against Barnsley, ladies and gentlemen, in the championship. It's an away game, and uh, Barnsley are 22nd in the table, so it's going to be a quick sim with the rotation team, and we'll save the first team for next match. It's a 1-1 draw. Uh, your man of the match is McKenzie, 7.4. Yep, 7.4. Had to check. But 7.4 there for McKenzie. Everyone else on an average rating. Um, no substitutes made by either team throughout the entire match, which is... Aye, that happened. But it's a 1-1 draw, it's a point, but it doesn't get us anywhere further in the table. Alright guys, 11th in the table, Sheffield Wednesday in a away game against them, 22nd of October 2022. And they have former Sunderland striker G Dong Won up front. I am absolutely, that has absolutely baffled me. Yo, if he scores, GG. Anyway, we move forward, we have Southampton in the cup after this. Um, so we will be playing... Well, I um, I say I'll, I'll be playing it. Will I play it? Yeah. I'll play it. So I'll quick sim this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it that way. We'll do it that way. So we'll quick sim this um, with the first team. And then we'll play Southampton with the first team. It's G, G actually scored. G Don Wong actually scored. G Manchester City, 1st of January. I can't remember what year it was. I think it was 2014. But that happened. We still win. It's still a 3-2 victory, and don't get me wrong. It's a it's it's a Beckham masterclass, because he's 8.4, he's your man of the match. Um But yeah, um G Don Wong actually did manage to score against us. Um, not sure how I feel about that, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I am not sure how to feel about that. Either way, 3-2 victory. It's points um, to keep us, you know, up there in contention for automatic promotion slash playoffs this season. Southampton next, so moving forward. All right, guys, Southampton, Rich Energy Arena, 25th of October, 2022, Carabao Cup, fourth round. And, yeah, first team against Southampton. Semenyo up to 75. Scott up to 75. Beckham 74 plus 2, 76. Like, they've... That's a that's a strong Southampton side. Danny Ings and uh, Alexander Mitrovic up front. Ginepo, Musa Ginepo down the left-hand side with Korinenko at left-back. Soyuncu at centre-back. Gaeta Gai, as well in goal. Josh Sims uh, down the right-hand side. Smallbone in the centre of midfield. That is, like I said, a very strong Southampton lineup. Um, we're going to have to play really, really well in order to get something from this game. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into it. All right, guys. Strong Premier League opposition is our fixture for this one. And I'm going to have to keep hold of the ball as much as I can. Because um, I don't want to give it away. Not yet. 
I don't want to. I don't want to give it away too cheaply. I mean, Danny Ings is like right on my ass already. Um, can can someone can someone come close? I need options. I need options to retain the ball, please. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we need to we need to play smart. We just need to play collectively and play our play our normal football, and we we should be fine. Speaking of normal football, boom. Thank you. Yes. See what I mean? Keeping hold of the ball. That is not Semenyo's face. <laughs> Seme mm. <laughs> that is not Semenyo's face. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, Semenyo does make it one nil. That I'll have to fix that after this match. Um, we just, we just, we just, we just ignore that. Um, just ignore that. That's a bug. That is a bug. I can fix this. I can fix that. Anyway, we play our normal football. We hold we hold the ball, we keep possession, and we capitalize on the fact that, you know, we have a pacey boy up front. So, 1-0. Let's just not park the bus. We're, I'm not going to park the bus just yet, but we'll we'll see what happens from there. Mitrovic can't get a foot in again. It's Gineppo. It's Ings. Good interception by Adams. Ings has tackled him. Southampton dangerous on the on the attack. Southampton very, very dangerous on the attack, ladies and gentlemen. So we I mean we don't exactly have the paciest people at, at the back, if I'm being brutally honest. But we we should have enough. It's Sam Greenwood here. I was about to say Bruce, but I don't know why I was about to say Bruce Greenwood. Probably cut because actor in Star Trek. Don't don't ask. Man, that's my inner nerd coming out. It's making an appearance. But Sam Greenwood there losing the ball, um, which now gives Josh Sims and Mitrovic time to come forward for Southampton. Mitrovic up against Kane. Sims. Is he going to cross it? Nope, he's going to give it to Ings. Yo, I'm content with you just keeping it. Like outside of the box. Don't don't roll. Don't roll. Stockdale. Thank you. Mitrovic. Good tackle, Young. Very good. Yeah, good player. Good player. Love that. Let's release Beckham. Love that. Semenyo is running through. But I've got Tito Fernandez at the back post. What a substitution. What a substitution. Boys, 2 0 up. Good counter attack by us to get, you know, people released. Tito Fernandez coming in at the back stick. Lo things you absolutely love to see. Good cross by Beckham. We move forward. I mean, what we do have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, as well, is that we're not a League 1 or League 2 side anymore. We are an established championship side. And Danny Ings has just, you know, tested Stockdale there. But, you know, like I said, we are, a, we are an established um, championship side. And... So, as good as Southampton are, as much as I respect the team, um, you know, especially their accomplishments over the past few years, but you know, it, it doesn't really change the fact that we are a championship side, and you know, we are expected to put up a really good fight, and we have, like, we've completely, like, this is like one of those cup upsets, maybe, like, if that's what you want to call it. What a fucking save, Stockdale. Holy shit, bro. But, yeah, no, we 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 deserve to be ahead. Like, we absolutely deserve to be ahead. Johnson is not... No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. But, it's, you know, like I said, we deserve to be ahead. Like, yes, like I said, we're an, we're an established championship side. I get that. But, at the same time, you know, we, we deserve to be in front. It's that simple. Adams coming forward for Southampton. He's trying to get past the defenders. He's used Gineppo back into Gorigan. Good tackle, Gineppo. Good hand, Stockdale. Love that, sir. Love that. Adams is away down this right-hand side. He's got Tito inside of him. Isn't, isn't going to get used. The pass wasn't accurate enough. Coming into the last minute of the game now, ladies and gentlemen. So the game's almost over. Southampton have been dangerous, but Stockdale has literally kept us in this. Um, if I'm being, you know, if I'm if I'm being honest. Keita Balde, Dela Cruz, good tackle Ryan Scott. Love that, son. Love that. 
and game's over. So yeah, we've played really, really well. Um, you know, we've deserved our 2-0 lead. It's been two counter-attacks, two goals. Um, Southampton, like I said, have been dangerous, but Stockdale has literally kept us in this game, ladies and gentlemen. The stats tell the story. You know, four shots to their five, four, uh, two on target to their four. They've had more possession. It's it's literally just been counter-attack. It's, it's just absorb the pressure, catch them on the counter, and your man of the match is Stockdale with a perfect 10. The first time a goalkeeper has received man of the match, and he's made seven saves and kept a clean sheet. So, Stockdale, I was going to give Stockdale man of the match anyway, but the game has done it for us, and honestly, it's it's well-deserved. It's absolutely well-deserved. We move forward in the Carabao Cup. Final game of the episode, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a quick sim. It's Rich Energy Arena. It's the 29th of October, 2022, and it's a home game against Portsmouth, who are 18th in the table. We move in with the uh, rotation team here, and I'm looking for a victory because we are within three points of... There it's there. We are within three points of Aston Villa. So Scott got your goal and 8.4. Hudson, man of the match. So two, both of our goalkeepers get man of the match in this episode. Things you love to see. Things you absolutely love to see. But it is a 1-0 victory. And like I said, we stay pretty much close to Aston Villa. So if they, you know, I'm hoping they draw so we can get within one point. If you know what I mean. All right, guys, and to wrap up this episode, we've climbed from fifth to second in the table. So the teams above us did drop points. We move up. Beautiful things, things you'd love to see. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, it is pretty tight. Cardiff, Brentford, Stoke, and Bristol City are all within either two points, one point, or on this are on the same points as us. So it is close. It is tight. And if we want to stay in automatic promotion, we're going to have to keep picking up points. If you know what I'm saying. So, ladies and gents, I will fix Semenyo's head as soon as I've wrapped up this episode. Um, because for some reason, his head reverted to something weird and completely, you know, wrong. Um, but, yeah, no, we move forward. We absolutely do move forward. And... It's a good return to the series for the boys. So thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed this episode, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release your content or go live. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.